So at the Exertion Games Lab, we research the intersection between technology, the play and the body. Um, because we believe we sit way too much in our work lives and we want to get people excited about being physically active again. What we've been working on for the past couple of months is a helmet that is able to show information to the outside world. We did that by turning it into a kind of low resolution display by covering it with LEDs. And all of these LEDs are multicolored and we can control them individually, which means that you can display patterns on it, numbers, colors. And what we've been thinking about is what does it mean when your helmet becomes interactive? What does it mean when it can show information about yourself? And we've been talking with different user groups that use helmets in their activities, like cycling or skateboarding or construction workers. And we asked them, what would you do um, with a helmet that has this kind of capability? How could it help you in your activities? One of the problems we've had for many years is that drivers say, sorry, mate, I didn't see you. Even though we're there in full view, everyone else saw us, but one particular person didn't see us. So the bikes are out there, they're visible, but they're not being recognized. And I think this project, is an interesting way of introducing some kind of signalling behaviour on the part of the cyclist that may help to make us more recognisable. Helmet is a static object that is there to protect us when we fall and for the rest of the time it's just there, it's not doing anything. So we thought this is perfect, we have this object that is clearly visible to everybody else and that we can use as a means of communication. The research is important because we believe if we make wearing a helmet uh, more engaging, more fun. We can actually not only facilitate um, more people to wear helmets, um, which can increase safety, but also inspire us to think about how technology can create new opportunities for engagement and get really people to think about how we can facilitate and inject play back into physical activity to get people excited about moving their bodies again. Well, I think it's really interesting about how does a cyclist represent themselves and their personality and who they are to other bike riders? And I think there's a lot of interest now in using new technology that can help us identify ourselves to others who might be interested in something that we're interested in. And uh, I think a visual display, an LED system on a helmet, I mean, how conspicuous is that?